awesome. I'd say magnificent because it's it's just something we never planned on. It, it's grown to be something much greater and grander than we ever anticipated when we started. We are very honored to be one of only two homes that has the signature of Jacob Holt. Jacob Holt was a renowned builder architect in the area in the 1800s, but he has quite a following. There's a Jacob Holt Foundation. Ours was built and is on the register from 1859, and we try very hard to preserve his legacy. It's been a long time since this house was, was built, and it has a long story. It was in very bad d disrepair when, when we bought it, but we worked very hard to bring it back to its current state. Very early on in our tour, Sheila walked in the front door and she started crying and she said, I want it. And I thought she had absolutely lost her mind. Um, but after we walked through there and I saw how bad she wanted it, I said, well, if you want it, you can have it. And she started crying some more. But uh, that started a five year journey to renovate the house. I was a little perturbed when the government called it unearned income because we worked really hard. We gutted the house entirely, took all the plaster out, took care of any structural repairs that had to be done. Uh, put a new roof on the house and then worked on going through the house uh, room by room to bring it up to its current uh, state. There were no mechanicals in the house worth saving, so everything was replaced. All the wiring, all the HVAC, all the plumbing is new, the well is brand new. So everything is, is brought up to current code. So it was all put back uh, to its original state to the extent possible with some, with some slight upgrades to make it more habitable, if you will. We've really morphed into better over the past 20 years because we kept putting our time and effort into it. When we opened the bed and breakfast, we didn't have a swarm of people coming right then, but the first two young ladies that knocked on the door asked if they could get married here, and I thought about it, and I thought, well, sure, we can do that. So our first wedding was a local wedding, and this is a little emotional, but it was amazing to stand on that back deck and see people the way the house should be. Kids running and people enjoying the pecan orchard and the yard and so forth. And it just kept morphing. We just kept doing whatever our brides requested and turned into a pretty successful wedding venue. Fast forwarding to today, if you look backwards on the last 10 years, uh, because the wedding business has become so significant, We've actually grossed $2.9 million in sales in the last 10 years. Uh, and we never had any idea that it would get to the point that it is today. We started out thinking we were bed and breakfast and we just kept listening to our clients. And every time the client said we'd like to have this, that, or the other thing, we went and built it. So it was not built to attract our business. It was built in response to our business, which makes us a very unique facility. We have some beautiful grounds, approximately 13 acres. We have 21 uh, mature pecan trees, and that's been the most popular place for the weddings because it's shady. Um, I have over 70 hydrangeas planted. Um, we've worked really hard on the perennial gardens, and we have a raised bed vegetable garden for which we do farm to table as much as we can. And while we've been sitting here, I've been watching five hummingbirds bouncing all over the chestnut tree out there. It's just amazing. Oh, um, just the hummingbirds? Sure. But the hummingbirds, the raspberries, the blackberries, the blueberries, the black walnuts, the chestnut tree, and in the pecan grove, I mean, there's just so much here in the garden space. The lifestyle is just, is just something you read in a fairy tale book. It's truly awesome to see not only our grandkids, but their friends and other kids come and just run the 13 acres because not a lot of kids have a chance to do that kind of thing. Um, if we put a head on every pillow, we can sleep 23 guests. Every year we host a family, we call it fall harvest, and the kids bring anybody they want to party. We've had up to 150 and we've become, it's become kind of a tradition with our children and our family, and it's just been really neat to have them here. We encourage anyone who's interested to come on and take a tour. Um, you will find that no matter what you find on the internet relative to pictures, 
websites, reviews, even this video. There's just absolutely nothing we can do to capture all that's here. We hear it from every bride we had come in here, every client we've had come in here. There's no way we can advertise and clearly display what's here because there's just so much. There's 13 acres here that are absolutely gorgeous and it's, you just can't put it on, on film. You can't, you can't display what's here on film. So uh, if, if, any of, if anyone wants to come and see it, we think you'll be incredibly surprised because it's gonna be so much more than what you anticipate. We're searching for a new Keeper of the Keys because we feel like we're ready to move forward and spend more time with our grandkids. And I'm certain whoever takes on that responsibility will be. If they're half as in love as I am, they'll be lucky.